Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show the two ways that you can integrate a web browser control into your Microsoft Workbook or Microsoft Worksheet. Number one, we can have a web browser control within the worksheet which I've showed in a previous video or you can actually call the Internet Explorer that application using VBA. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go to the Developers tab and I'm going to go to Insert and I'm going to select More Controls. I'm going to select the Microsoft Web Browser Control for this portion and I'm going to add it to the left side of the worksheet and right below that I'm just going to add a command button. I'm going to go to insert under ActiveX controls I'm going to add a command button and right click properties I'm going to call this method 1 and to my right I'm going to add another button that says method 2 and before I get started on this, what I'm going to do is put a little, on, in K2, I'm going to put a URL. So this will be like where we're asking the user what website do they want to go to. It's going to do Google. And in method one, let's go on and put in some code here. We're going to do sheet1.webbrowser1.navigate. And it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're just going to be sheet1.range and K2 is the field that we're looking at so we can get this URL here K2 and let's just do a loop to wait until the website is loaded loop until sheet one dot web browser one dot ready state equals complete and we'll do message box done that way we know it's completed let's just try that out real quick take us out of design mode and hit method one and done as soon as the page loaded we got the done option the done message box so now we're going to do method two method two is a little bit more complicated you're going to have more um, more coding and the web browser won't be within the workbook we're going to double click it and we're going to we're going to do dim internet window as object set internet window equals and we're going to do create object we're going to do the internet explorer dot application and this is going to be the piece that we've pretty much added in replace of the web browser control the next line will be similar to what we have up here in command button one and that's going to be internet window dot navigate and that's going to be sheet one dot range k2 so this right here is pretty much the same as what we have up here but we're not going to be using the web browser control instead we're going to create the object of Internet Explorer that application we're going to do internet window dot visible equals true that way we can show it on the screen I would actually would prefer this have this occurs before the navigation and what we can do is same code as before do do events loop until internet window that ready state equals and we'll put ready state complete here we have to type it manually because there is no control that visual basic, visual basic is giving you a hint on as to what your available options are instead since we're creating the object manually we'll have to know the code exactly so we can do ready state complete or code for and this information is available on the MSDN library as to all of the Internet Explorer application properties along with the web browser control. Let's do the same thing here. Message box done. And we're going to play this code out. Take us out of design mode and hit method two. And here in Microsoft Excel we have message box done now that the window is open. So this is just two quick methods as to how you can add a web browser to your Microsoft Excel workbook. In the next video, I'm going to show how we can query data from using either one of these methods by looking at the source code you know, of the HTML or whatever the file may be. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.